we are starting off this what's for dinner with our halloween appetizers that we had last sunday i feel like mummy dogs were the go-to this year they are adorable and they're really easy to put together i just had a dough sheet that i just cut into thin strips and then i wrapped a couple pieces around um, each hot dog and i left a spot at the top where you could put the eyes um, I used candy eyes, but you don't have to use candy eyes. You can just use um, like ketchup or mustard as little dots for eyes. But I thought the candy eyes looked so cute on them once they were completely done. So I had the oven preheated at 350. And once those were done, we kind of got the rest of the appetizers together. And I'll kind of go through and sh show you all the spread. So here is our spread. We had some cookies. We had some apple monster mouths. My mom made some pimento cheese. And then here are the cute mummies. I only put the candy eyes on a couple. <laughs> and then I fixed some cracked chicken dip. I will have that recipe uh, linked down below. That was from Pinterest and it was really, really good. Next up, we did some meatball subs. I just took a package of frozen meatballs that I had did freezer meal prep a couple weeks ago. I just dumped those in my crock pot and added a jar of spaghetti sauce and I just let it cook up for about four hours on low and we will make the potatoes next. So for my potatoes, I just cut up a few potatoes, washed them, and then I'm just going to drizzle them with a decent amount of olive oil. I do have my air fryer preheating at 350. Whenever I do potatoes, I like to preheat it. I think it does help with the crispiness. So I'm just going to toss around the olive oil, and then I'm going to use a packet of the dry onion soup mix. I got this idea because Sammy over at Managing the Maze... She recently shared her potatoes, but she does hers in the oven. She bakes them in the oven, but I wanted to try the same idea and seasoning, but I wanted to try them roasted in the air fryer and y'all, they were delicious. Luke was like, these are the best potatoes. I don't know what you did to them, but they were the best. So thank you, Sammy, for this idea. So I do have my air fryer preheated, like I said, it's pretty warm. And I just put that, put those in at 450 for about 20 minutes. I just flip, kept tossing them around every couple minutes just to make sure they get crispy on all sides. Here is the meatballs. And then here is my plate, a easy and delicious dinner. We ended up not being home for dinner time this day, so we just ran over to Culver's and got us some food. Here is Wednesday night's dinner. Wasn't on the menu, but we've got taco soup, We've got chips to crunch up in it. We've got sour cream and we have cheese. I have um, this come from the freezer. I did a meal prep video with making soups for the freezer. So I'll have that video linked down below so y'all can check it out and um, in case you missed it. And Winston won't eat this. So I'm making him a cheese quesadilla. So that is what's for dinner tonight.
So we decided to go with chili dogs this week. I had hot dogs, just plain hot dogs and mac and cheese on the menu, but we decided to do chili dogs. So I just went in my prepper pantry and got a can of the chili with no beans and I just heated that up and then I made some macaroni and then I cooked my hot dogs in the air fryer. Really easy dinner, <laughs> super easy dinner. On Friday, we ordered us some Papa John's. We had a chicken bacon Alfredo pizza, a plain cheese, and some cheese sticks. And Luke stole a cheese stick before I could film it. <laughs> So for Saturday night, we had some friends over. So Luke fixed his big old pot of very spicy chili, which was super good. But to go along with that, I wanted to do some bacon cheddar jalapeno cornbread. So I used Jiffy Mix and then I added in um, the ingredients that I called for on the package. And then I added in one cup of cheddar cheese, a half a cup of bacon bits, two tablespoons of the diced jalapenos, and then one tablespoon of the juice. I didn't have a recipe, but I wanted to measure as I went, so that way I could tell you guys measurements because y'all, this was so good. Everybody loved it. I will definitely be making this again, and I'm definitely gonna type this out for myself so I can have it for the future. Um, it was a really good. So I just heated up my cast iron pan at 400 I put some oil in there like I normally do get it nice and hot and then I'm just gonna add in that batter and then we're just gonna pop it back in there it took about 30 minutes for it to bake up because it was pretty thick but the edges were nice and crispy and it was really good it had really nice flavor a little bit of heat to it if you didn't want as much heat maybe take out the juice or um, you know use it less jalapenos but to me it had the perfect amount of heat it was a very good and here is our spread we've got Luke's chili I didn't film it. He is weird about me filming stuff sometimes when it's just his recipes. Um, he says he does better in the kitchen when I'm not in there bugging him with the camera. Um, I will have my chili recipe linked down below, but it's not his. His is super spicy. We have the cornbread. We've got, you can do peanut butter sandwiches. We got crackers, cheese, sour cream, all the fixings. And then to go along with it for dessert, I made some brownies and I will share those next. So for the brownies, I took a box of the Betty Crocker fudge brownies. I just followed the directions on the back of the box, sprayed my pan, added that into the pan, and then we will make our cream cheese swirl topping. So for the cream cheese swirl topping, I added in block of cream cheese softened, added in some sugar, an egg, and some vanilla. I don't measure, I just kind of do it till I think it looks good. Uh, I would say I added about a fourth of a cup of sugar for one egg, one block of cream cheese, and then like a tablespoon of vanilla. Um, and I just mix it together well, put it on top, and then I swirl it with a knife, bake it in the oven at 350, for about 30 minutes it just depends on how done you want your brownies we like ours fudgy so we do it about 30 minutes and then just let them completely cool and my tip for you to, for cutting brownies is using a plastic knife it works great I promise you don't get like all the edges to come up it's like a smooth cut 
And that is it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this week's What's for Dinner video. Some easy dinner recipes. I hope it gave you some inspiration to cook more for your family at home. But nonetheless, all that matters is your family is fed by the end of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.